right, so this week is going to be super, super busy. I got a lot going on. Today's March the 20th. This morning I have my admin separation board. Uh, this board will let me know, me and everybody else know, um, if I will continue to um, serve in the Army and get my retirement. So it's a pretty big deal. <clears throat> Tuesday I start my orientation with the HEB, so I'm excited about that. And then um, on Thursday I'll actually start my first day at HEB. So, I'm very excited, very excited. This is a big week. I've been waiting for this board uh, for about three months now. Like I said, I was supposed to get out the Army um, on 30 November, but because of the, you know, the marijuana issue, it's been postponed. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I had a whole, you know, setup that I wanted to do as far as you know when i was going to be driving when i was going to be moving to virginia you know what i'm saying things of that nature so like everything's kind of like been put on hold and um i'm just ready to get it over with i'm, I'm ready to move on with my life the ultimate thing you know what i'm saying i want i after putting 20 years in the military five combat deployments 17 awards it's definitely owed to me but i have to look at it you know from 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 both perspectives um, there is a chance that I may not get it and I want to say that's okay too but from a logical standpoint I mean that you just have to face that like hey we 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 may not win this thing even though we know that we we should we just may not and that's I want to say that's fine too because after after it's done and I don't get it or I do get it there's nothing else that I can do about it and I'm just like I said I'm just really the go on for in my life. Like I said, I still get my army, um, a workman's compensation, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's still, that's still good. I still get out with a general discharge. So it, it won't mess up or anything. And you know, just for, for me being out here these these last three months, I, I know that I'm definitely more confident about getting out the army and uh, moving on with my future. I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited and I'm ready to get started and I'm ready to get started. So I'm getting ready for work um, right now. I took my uniform out. I haven't, I haven't wore a uniform in three months and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, I have not missed it. I have not missed it. Um, I cut my beard down and um, I had to find my hat. I think it's in the car. So yeah, well, <clears throat> I'm just getting ready. Getting ready. Uh, usually in the morning, I play Pandora, and I just get myself in the mood, uh, get my mind right. I actually slept okay. Uh, usually when there's a an event the next day, I don't sleep well. Like say I have to perform or speak in front of people, or um, go to a board such as this, and it's like a big deal. I usually don't sleep uh, very well. I um. <clears throat> I, I like go over the scenarios on like what's going to happen and what I'm going to say and you know just you know the whole out thing I, I that's probably the overthinking uh, that I do so but um I actually slept pretty good I didn't even think about it I, I said I'm really just ready to get it over with um my stats and everything you know they really speak for themselves and um, yeah, I'm just ready to get it over it, to be honest. I honestly can't say that like enough. Like I'm just ready to get it over with. <clears throat> I, I do feel confident that I will win and, and I will get my retirement. But you know, with the army, you, you, you never really know. You never really know. Um, never really know. Yeah, I said, um, I got big things coming up. I'm excited. Jericho and Kalia are fine. I spoke to them yesterday. Um, Jericho's first game in soccer is this Saturday. And um, Co uh, Corey starts AAU football. I think his is next week. I, I, um, so it's either next week or first of April so that's a lot of stuff going on and I missed every single football game of him in eighth grade a middle school I missed every single game of basketball so I, I'm just really tired of missing 
And like I said before, you know, even if I'm there with my children and I'm, you know, I'm catching up with them, I'm still gonna be missing out here, you know what I'm saying, with Kobe. So it, it's, it's really, I don't wanna say it's stressful, but it is. I, I try to look at it from a positive as, um, a positive perspective and a point, but it uh, it is what it is. I said I have to keep it over mind. I gotta be positive, and I gotta continue to move forward and do what's best for me and my children. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna uh, run an iron over this thing. I said it's not a, not bad at all. I said I ain't worried in three months. It was just hanging up in my closet, uh, ready for this day. No, I'm also so so I want to say too. So it's not going to be a quick process. The The vote's going to be today. Are they going to say, yeah, I, I think he should stay and um, um, obtain his his retirement? But the process still may take up to 90 days. So I be messing around still in the Army for 90 days. I'm going to hate that. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, after the results come in, I'm going to speak to my commander and ask him if I can um, do something, you know, call in and for accountability and just work at HEB. That's really what I wanna do. I really, I'm, I'm sorry y'all, but I don't wanna be in the uniform anymore. 20 plus years is more than enough. Right now it's, it's, 20, it's 20 years and three months and that I've been in the army and uh, I said, I'm, I'm really tired. Like I'm, I, I'm physically here wearing a uniform, but mentally, man, I'm already tired. I've already been done with it, so. Uh, let me stop blabbing. I gotta uh, I get ready to go. So uh, I'm going to, I'm up so early. Uh, I'm going to FedEx this morning. I'm gonna work out. It's probably my last week at FedEx. Um, so that way, um, you, you know, when you work at a job, you have to work that first week in a hole. So that way, when I don't get paid that first week with HEB, I'll still have that, that FedEx check. So, and um, I just like how it just keeps rolling and stuff like that. So uh, you guys wish me luck. Um, I, I really appreciate all the support and all the love and all the comments. You guys know you my extended family and co-workers and acquaintances and stuff like that. So I definitely appreciate y'all. Um, I got to go. <laughs> I got about 20 minutes to walk out the door and I'll let you guys know how it went. All right, y'all. Peace. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Just... Appreciating life. You know? I've been listening to birds cry. Alright, guys, so I just got done with FedEx. I did like three hours. Now it's uh, almost 8 o'clock. I'm headed towards Fort Hood. I'm gonna change to my uniform and then uh, head to the office. Well, to, to the board of the place. Hey, so work, work today just confirmed. And that's not where I need to be. Um, more people were complaining. More people are not showing up to work because they're like, this is some bullshit. And um, I said, I'm glad, I'm grateful that I um, made a decision to move when I chose it. You know, I was said, I, I ain't no straight to the hard work, but I, I, I can't be working like that. And then, you know, it's, when you don't have good management, like that just really kind of throws everything else off. And I say once again, I'm grateful for the skills that I have learned and acquired in the Army. So, alright guys, um, I'll see you guys when we get to work. Try not to forget, this is gonna work if we keep working on it. Ease your mind, you put a curtain on it. So if you love me, won't you say you love me? You so beautiful, this world get ugly We ride, we vibe, it's a surprise No strings, no I'm about to go here and change real quick And then uh Go ahead and head over. I think I want some coffee, but I don't want to be like jittery and stuff. Like now I'm nervous. Now we got like about 20 minutes left and I'm a little nervous now. I'll be alright. Alright, I'm back like I never left, baby. But I did leave. Um, I was gonna cut the beard down a little bit more, but 
met you guys. I'm about to drive over there. I was gonna grab some coffee, but I don't think I have time. Like I said, I don't wanna be late today. I'm already nervous, but I am gonna be sipping on some water while I'm speaking. So uh, when I get out, I'll let, I'll let you guys know how it went. So I'm here, uh, the board's gonna start in about 20 minutes. I'm a little nervous, I didn't use the bathroom. But um, one thing about this, no matter what, life is concurrent, it's forever flowing. So, you know, this is just gonna keep going. Whether it happens or it doesn't, life is still going on. So wish me luck, guys. I'll let you know how it go. <laughs> Let me get it while it's fresh. Boy, so the boy went great. It went great. Um, he put everything on the line. And, and it wasn't any gimmicks. It was just straight facts. 20 years of service. Five combat deployments. 16, 17, 18 awards and decorations. I messed up one time. And um, he should be this retired. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. It could take a few months for it to uh, finalize. But just to know that it's done and it's, the weight is off my shoulder. Because, uh, man, let me tell you how stress works. You get these things of life on your shoulders, you get it in your head, you get it in your body. And you, you just start piling it on. You know, so I got my kids leaving. I got the, the divorce. I had this army thing weighing on me. And it gets heavy. You know what I'm saying? It, it does get heavy. But this is something that I can take off of that. I can take this off. And I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. And um, so in a couple of months, hopefully, hopefully less than that, I'll get my retirement paperwork and everything like that and I can go on about my life. And this will just be a memory of my 20 years of service, 20 years of my life will be just a memory. And I have a little plaque on the wall saying, congratulations, your retirement after 20 years of service. And I can go out here and do bigger, better things, baby. And um, I can get ready for my move. So thank you guys to everybody that was, that was, oh my gosh. Everybody that supported me, everybody that spoke on my behalf, Everybody that, that just said good things about me, I really appreciate you. Um, I never strive to be the best best soldier, but I definitely wasn't the last, the worst either. I was kind of weird, like in that in that middle, you know what I'm saying? At seven, you know what I mean? So just for this to go well and for it to be over with, I am so blessed, so grateful, and I'm gonna keep on pushing, y'all. So thank y'all. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! That crazy so we're <laughs> Just the people that are watching. Oh, you lied. You lied. I'm not. <laughs> Sir General, we're out here. Where are you? Oh, I know, but we gotta make fun.